Guess what day it is today, guys? Today is New Synth Day. Don't you wish every day was New Synth Day? Oh. So I know this has been out for quite some time, but this is my first time messing with the grandma. Aside from when I messed with it at Toman Synth Reactor in like 2009 for like a quick second. But yes, we finally have the grandma in the studio. I'm so excited. Let's get this open. I love like all the philosophy with Moog. Everything has some consciousness and we tap into that. It is about energy at its most basic level. Dr. Robert Moog, may you rest in peace, sir. Oh, oh my. All right, where to start? Power cable, internal power. So in case you didn't know, in case you're a new blur, these cables, like you can use them on anything. You know, like this means the power is inside. So like if you have a synth that looks like this, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter. So just a heads up in case you didn't know that. Now you know. We got the manual. Warranty, what's in this baggie? Baggie full of goodies. Was not expecting a baggie full of goodies. Oh, yo, I'm collecting these now, by the way. <laughs> Mold posters, oh my gosh. Let's see this one. Look at Frogman. These are so cool. I still need to get my frames, but I'm definitely framing these. I'm so glad I didn't get a repeat. I haven't gotten a repeat yet. So that's awesome. It's not like they're just recycling this art. Look at this. This is probably the side I'm gonna frame. This one's cool too though, frogman face. Okay, let's see what else did we get. Our registration, as always, looking fresh and clean. That can double as a postcard. What else is in here? Our cables, because the grandmother likes to be patched. And our, oh, I lied. It has external powers. Everything I say is a lie. So this could have gone straight into your synth, like on the Prophet 6, but this is actually external power. So it's gonna go into this thing. So, you know, don't blow anything up. Make sure you use this one. Oh, oh my, oh my. Wowza, guys, this is gorgeous. And of course you guys knew I was gonna go with the standard version. The black version looks cool, but like, this is so unique. I don't have any other synth that looks like this. Like, why would you not? Love this color scheme, unless you're like, you know, emo or gothic or whatever y'all young kids are into these days. We are going to plug this up because, you know, it is beautiful. Can we just admire it for a second though? Hold on. So we got our ARP, we got the modulation, the oscillators, mixer, utilities, filter, envelope, our output, volume knob, a beautiful spring reverb. That's awesome that that is like its own thing. Yo, these buttons. Oh, these modules. I've never had a module like this. Bouncy. And we have a glide knob. How cool is that? So metal body, plastic sides, but I mean, it's still pretty chunky. That's awesome that we have clock in and out for the sequencer so we can use it with our modular. We have full quarter inch outs and Eurorack outs. Amazing. MIDI, the future is here. And five pin MIDI, so you know. Old school is cool too. We got three little holes over here. Not sure why those are there, but they're there. And then we have a fine tune, a fine, very fine, tiny little tune knob. It's 12 volt DC, positive polarity. Don't blow your stuff up. And it is a chunky girl. I mean, it's not like crazy heavy, but it's not your sit down and put it on your lap jam synth. Let's plug this in. Cause you know, that's why we're here. So let's do this. DistroKid just announced their new video distribution platform, DistroVid. For only 99 bucks a year, you can upload unlimited music videos to Apple Music, Vivo, Amazon Music, and Tidal. This includes 4K videos, custom thumbnails, and the official Vivo watermark on your YouTube videos. Best part is, you keep 100% of your earnings. Just one more great tool by DistroKid. If you'd like to sign up for DistroKid, use the code below and save 7%. have to like get used to the whole shift no that's as low as it goes i lied it sounds so gorgeous 
this one, I must be doing something wrong, that's for sure. Oh. So this is our sequencer. We need to figure out how to record this. <laughs> we will do that later. Arp. That makes sense. <laughs> so the modulation is tied to the modulation wheel, of course. I mean, guys, when did I ever say I know what I was doing? Never. Okay, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. <laughs> this is a very interesting synthesizer. And beautiful sounding as well. cool if they could have fit a delay in here but you know i'm thankful for the spring reverb at least but you guys already know that we're going to be running this through our year rack effects rack so coming soon Alright, so not ear destroying resonance, which is good. Oh, a noise knob that we haven't even touched.
by the way, I'm just patching random things into random things. <laughs> because this is how you learn, my friends. This is how you learn. Okay, so if you want a learning synth, this is perfect for that. Because you can just patch anything into anything, you know, probably not out and out. But who knows, because with the mother, I was told by Moog themselves that you can patch an out into an out and nothing will happen because it's like super beginner friendly. So I'm not going to try it with this one because I know better, but you know, just out into out, just don't do that. There's really no need to do that. But pretty much everything else is fair game. Just patch, figure out what sounds cool, and learn as you go. I mean, that's what we're doing here. Isn't that what we always do? And just to hope to make cool sounds somewhere in between. That is literally all we do here. So I'm really glad that they included the ARP and the sequencer. I need to figure out how to record the sequencer. It shouldn't be too complicated, but... Wow, that was very simple.
Let's do another one. I didn't think it was gonna be that simple. I'm not sure how long the sequence can be.
Okay, I'm in love. <laughs> I haven't had a monophonic synth in years, guys. Years. I have not had a mono synth in years because, like, I always feel like, oh no, I need polyphony. Like, I'm a keyboardist. I need more than one note. Like, mono synths normally make me sad. You know, I leave mono for modular, but this is semi modular. And just the addition of the sequencer just takes us to a whole different level because I feel like I'm going to spend most of my time tweaking knobs and not really playing keys. Although playing keys like is gorgeous on this and being able to like transpose the sequence, doing all these fun things with the sequence, recording the sequence, like how simple it was. I really thought it was going to be more difficult than that. We also can change the direction of our sequence and our ARP. So like there's a lot of options in this little yellow area over here. And I feel like this is going to be one of those synths that keeps on giving because there's just going to be so much to learn even though like it's not really that complicated like everything is super nicely laid out everything is clearly labeled so again this is a great learning synth if you're not familiar with a lot of this stuff which a lot of people aren't you know and that's completely fine we were all noobers at some point I'm still a noob guys this is you know this is all a front just six years of lies so the grandmother I know it has a bigger brother the matriarch I don't have room for that it would have been cool to try it though but We'll see, maybe in the future, who knows, you never know what happens in this channel. I guess it's time to get a synth rack again. I was trying to avoid it for the longest, but I definitely need a synth rack because this is a fat grandma. So I want to get like a smaller synth rack just for like these type of like two, three octave synths. Like I think that this is the vibe I'm going for, just like smaller synths that I can jam with. I'm excited to run this through my Eurorack effects, so stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to do that on my music channel, so check that out in the description below. If you guys are thinking of picking up the grandmother or any other synth that you've seen me use on my channel, check out the links below to sounds.com. They offer fast free shipping on everything, hassle free returns, and they are affiliate links, so every time you buy something, it really helps out the channel. Thanks guys, stay fly, and I'll catch you in the next one.